My name's Linda McCormick. I've had eight back surgeries, wow. two fusions. I fell last December and I had a headache for almost a year. I tried everything, nothing worked, and I saw Dr. Bulo at a Taste of Home Show. That's right. And I came in because I thought I had nothing to lose. But I mean, I went to physical therapy. Um, I could take the ibuprofen to get rid of it, but then that irritates my stomach, and as soon as the ibuprofen wears off, my headache was back. I wanted to get rid of it permanently. I mean, yeah. if your family doctor was the only one who knew exactly what to do with you, mm -hmm. why are all these other doctors around? Good point. I mean, somewhere out there, there has to be an answer. Yeah. What was that like for What was the uh, the initial appointment and first adjustment and how you did after that? What was that transition like? How did, what did you experience going when you started? The there? first appointment, because I've had so many problems with my back, I was ready to throw up. I was so nervous. Yeah. But everybody here put me quite at ease. Um, after the first adjustment, it was so nice to lay down, have such a horrendous headache. And wake up, and I didn't have one when I walked out the door. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was awesome. After I started care here, he would come in, and even at night before we go to bed, do you have a headache? I'd say no. I get up in the morning, do you have a headache? We have such an exciting life. <laughs> and I'd say no. He's ecstatic. Yeah. Because he even had, he says, Linda, I could look at you and see you had a headache, and you just crawled out of bed. Yeah. Nobody should have to live with somebody who has a headache all day long because they can be crazy. You know, obviously, what we do is very different. You know what I mean? So, what is it that you'd say to someone who says, "I've tried chiropractic," or like you have, "I've tried everything under the sun. This is just the way it's got to be." What, what would you say to someone like that? You're giving up too easily. <laughs> you, there's somebody out there that's got to be able to help you. That's awesome. Yeah. And I truly believe if you don't have anything at the top where it's supposed to be, how can anything going all the way down be in the right order? That's pretty good. Anything else you like to add? I heartily suggest anybody who's having a problem to come see somebody, wherever they may be, right. in upper cervical care, because if you don't get the top ones taken care of, the rest of them will fall in line, in my opinion.